What's up, Nick fans? All right. I am Victor Hatchba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today, a special guest, a special guest from New York, Jenna Lemoncelli. Welcome, welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be sitting here and talking to you and the fans in Brazil. I think this is incredible. I think it's super special to connect with you guys. And I'm glad that we're doing this. Thank you again, seriously, for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Because for me, it's a great honor, great honor bring you in this channel. First of all, Jenna, first of all, uh, do you can introduce yourself for Brazilians. Yes, yes. I am a sports reporter with the New York Post here in New York City, just a couple blocks away from Madison Square Garden, where your beloved Knicks play their home games. And I actually used to work for the Knicks a couple years ago in 2019. I was a host for their G League team. So had some close ties there. Um, was around Allen Houston a lot, as you guys would know him as well, and a lot of different Knicks, of course, here. And currently I am with The Post doing sports news online and features there. So doing different interviews, uh, writing live news, um, doing on-camera work for them. And then on the side, I host for the Connecticut Sun in the WNBA. So our season just ended and now we're about to start the NBA season and root for our Knicks, right? Yes, yes, sure. Um, I won't uh, talk with you about New York Knicks, of course, of course. But I am curious, I am curious about uh, how start uh, your passion with sports, basketball, and uh, how start? How did it start? I mean, really, it was more of a hobby and something that my brother was always into. I have an older brother. He's two years older. And my dad was super into his sports when we were younger. He played everything from basketball to hockey. And he was um, really into basketball. And that's really where I learned the game and the X's and the O's of it. And again, it was always a passion. Uh, fun fact, I used to work in celebrity news and entertainment news. So I was dealing with actors and actresses and singers as opposed to athletes now. Um, so I just think it's always funny how I ended up back into sports where it really is my passion, just because I've just always had a different feeling when I've worked within sports. It's something that is hard to describe. It's just that you know you're in the right place and it's fun and it's always enjoyable. I mean, to do this for a living is a blessing. Um, and really, yeah, it started with my family when I was super young. Really never thought I would turn it into a career. Mm -hmm. So it is, again, um, just I pinch myself some days and some days I'm sitting here like, wow, I can't believe I'm here <laughs> doing this. Um, uh -huh. And it's just been amazing. And I'm just kind of riding this wave and seeing where it goes, really. Um, I've been at the Post for almost two years now. And of course, we are ingrained in New York sports there. So that is super special. Um, and we can't wait for you to come to New York. Oh, great, great. I ask it to you because your first time, your first time in Fans Brazil. And uh, I, I think it's great, né? I, I know more about you. It's great. It's great. It's great. I talk in begin this interview. Mm -hmm. Great honor. Great honor. So let's talk about New York Knicks. Okay. Um, first of all, I want your opinion about uh, two uh, new younger uh, two uh, player new players uh, with the Knicks, mm -hmm. Jalen Brunson and Azaya Hartenstein uh, come, become a Nick now. What do you think about these guys and Knicks in next season? I think if anything, the Knicks added two 
key players to their roster because I mean, Jalen Brunson was a huge get from Dallas. Um, I mean, he contributed so much on both ends of the floor in Dallas and that was a huge loss for Dallas. So again, just ingraining Jalen Brunson in the Knicks culture, I assume, you know, we shall see, of course, but I assume it is an easy thing to do. Of course, his dad is there and it's New York. It's the Mecca of sports. It's what everybody says it is and describes it. And the Knicks have a young team. So these guys have so much to gel with and relate to um, on a personal level too. And I think that again, the Knicks are going to be better with Jalen Brunson, especially. And then Hartenstein, I mean, you're just getting a big guy right there. Who's going to contribute to, especially down in the paint and help this team, especially, you know, of course you have your star in Julius Randall, but you know, you need these other key players to help out too, because, you know, there are nights when, you know, what if Randall isn't feeling himself or, you know, he needs some rest, you know, you're bringing in these young offensive guys that are really going to put points on the board for you and help RJ Barrett and co of course. And again, I think, you know, I don't know how far the Knicks are going to make it this season because, you know, the East is so competitive, but they're going to be better and they need to just keep building off of that, you know, take it game by game and stack wins here and see if they can make a playoff push because there's no reason why they shouldn't. If anything, they got better. Yes. I, I comment na, in so many interviews, uh, this team is not the worst, is not best. Uh, but uh, I think it's uh, uh, good players in this team, uh, younger players. I, I like so much RJ Barrett, for mm -hmm. example. I like so much. Everybody co uh, come to, to the Knicks fans Brazil uh, know about this. Ask you from Ian Begley, yeah. uh, <laughs> Dexter, <laughs> and so many guys. So, you, you know. Uh, so... I, I believe uh, in, in pandemic year, uh, nobody believe in Knicks uh, no. to playoffs. Nobody, nobody. No, and, not uh, at all. Knicks four seed, four seed in, right? the, in this season. You should. So you should have been here. Uh, New York was going wild to say the least <laughs> when that all happened, yes. um, and that was incredible. I was at Game Five um, when they played the Hawks and. I have been in Madison Square Garden many times uh, in my life, and that <laughs> right. was the loudest. The floor was shaking. I actually was kind of nervous. I was like, all right, is everybody <laughs> going to be all right here? But, oh, my gosh. Like, there's nothing like New York basketball and, and seeing and feeling that atmosphere, and it was just wild. If they can make it back to that point, I mean, it's incredible. And when RJ Barrett, uh, speaking of him, was drafted, I spoke to him, and he told me that he was built for New York. And he's still here. He's still thriving. The fans love him. So he is built for New York. Yes. I I, I want your opinion, for example, about uh, what you do think about uh, RJ Barrett extension. What was the question? Uh, what do you think uh, about uh, the extension, uh, RJ Barrett extension? What do you think about this, the contract? <laughs> Oh, I mean, extension contract. I think, you know, he, you chose to make him your star and you chose to make him the face. So, and they continue to back him. So, I mean, well deserved at this point. And, you know, he, he hasn't had any type of decline. If anything, of course, he's still improving and getting his feet wet in the league. But again, we haven't seen a decline. He's been a team guy. He has performed and, you know, he has never been an issue. I've never heard anything bad about him in the locker room, anything like that. I actually just saw him the other night. Um, I was at an event here in New York with him and uh -huh. just a pleasant guy. He, you know, the league hasn't gotten to him. He hasn't changed nothing on and off the court. I mean, again, well-deserved. I would never say not pay RJ Barrett right now anyway. But uh, do you believe RJ Barrett can be, uh, in your opinion, okay, uh, a future all-star or not, in your opinion? I do. 
I do believe he can. I will say it is super competitive and you have so many guys around the league like himself and a little bit older that have yet to get that all-star nod because again, it's so competitive. And also, mm -hmm. you know, some people might argue that all-star is a popularity contest of sorts. So a lot of people won't vote for, you know, for example, the RJ Barrett's of the world because they're not winning or they're not as, you know, up there in the rankings. So, you know, it's tricky when it comes to all-star. Um, but I do, I do think he's an all-star caliber player. Um, and I don't see why not that he couldn't play himself into that contention this season. This yes, should be no. his season, really. No, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, we're talking, for example, about Jalen Brunson. Okay. Uh, do you believe Jalen Brunson uh, can help Julius Randle uh, play better in the next season? I do. I do think he can because if you saw him in Dallas, that's what he did. He made his teammates better. He was, he had a huge leap in Dallas, which was so interesting when I saw that they had let him go. Um, but hey, the Knicks gain what they lost. But yeah, I do think that he's going to, especially him, is going to help make Julius Randle's game evolve even better. And, you know, take a little bit of pressure off of Julius Randle too, because they needed somebody else. Um, it was just a matter of who it was going to be. You know, of course, you know, the Donovan Mitchell rumors and things like that. But I mean, this is a no, right? <laughs> Don't remember. Don't remember. I joke with telling her, Jenna. Spider-Man 4 coming to the Knicks. No, Spider-Man 4 don't come to the Knicks. Oh, that's I, I don't care. I, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but turning the page, turning the page. <laughs> yeah, I think. But yeah, no, to answer your question, I mean, it's a no brainer. I think he's going to make this team better. And, you know, it's it's starters. Of course, I think he's going to open up the floor more, create some more space create take off less pressure for guys like RJ and Randall who constantly have to be putting up what 20 on the board every night he's going to take that pressure off them and i think we're going to see the offense evolve even more with Brunson in it uh, i ask you, uh, i ask to you be, uh, about Julius Randall because i am disappointed in it, uh with Julius Randall in the last season uh uh, Nick fans in the last season, uh, the hype, uh, expectations with this team, it's, it's big, uh, was big, nah, expectation. Uh, so, uh, Julius Randall, I, fr I frozen now. Oh, I talk with Julius Randall, I, I frozen. I, I back, I back. <laughs> uh, because uh, in the, the, the pandemic year, no, whoa, amazing. Julius, Julius Randle, amazing in this season. In the next season, it's the last season, Julius Randle, uh, uh, it's complicated. But uh, in my opinion, my, my opinion, uh, it's here, mental, in my yeah. opinion, the last season. I, I think um, Julius Randle, better here, uh, with Jalen Brunson, for me, but uh, if I, I disappointed, okay, but Julius Randle, play better, for me, oh, okay, I love New York Knicks, Julius Randle, play better, it's better from the Knicks, okay, oh, Julius Randle, if you, you see this interview, play better, play better. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I I don't I I I I prefer interviews more. Like uh, I I I I I talk with you, ne? Uh, like I said, ne? Uh, with Alan, huh? uh, we we talking about Spider Man in, in interview when I, I talk with him about Donovan Mitchell, for example. <laughs> I I. I, I uh, it's you, you talk with Brazil, Brazil people smile, okay, but okay, I I I I happy with your comment. Um, <laughs> so uh, Isaiah Hartenstein, in my opinion, you 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 talk about Isaiah, Isaiah Hartenstein. I I think it's uh, very important uh, 
uh, em Knicks, uh, Mitchell Robinson, Jericho Sims, uh, Nerlens Snowell, uh, out, ok? These three guys, uh, your skills, uh, the same. Uh, and Isaiah Hartenstein can be open the floor from these guys. Good passer, can shoot, can mm -hmm. shoot. The center can shoot in Knicks. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three points. Né? Uh, open the floor. It's uh, use usual from Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett, and Julius Randle, for example, uh, drives in, in, in your games. I, I think interest. Uh, uh, these guys make drives with uh, Isaiah Hartenstein. Open, open the space, mm -hmm. open the floor. I think I, 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 in the beginning, Jenna, I don't, I don't, don't, don't like it. But so many people, so many people uh, talk with me uh, say, and say uh, good things about the center. I change my opinion. I change my opinion. Now I am curious. I am curious about this guy. I am curious. I'm curious about him too. I mean, again, like you said, he's going to be a key player too to open the floor and help out when, you know, in place of Julius Randle, if he's going to come off the bench, of course. And hey, I mean, you know, he he did have some highlights when he was with the Clippers. So yeah. again, you said outside shooting, which not to say is rare for a center, but it's not exactly something that a lot of centers have. So again, another big guy for them is great for like just to add some depth down there in the paint. And again, I think that these young guys, again, we didn't even make, name Emmanuel quickly too. Like Obi Toppin, I mean, then you have Derrick Rose who's coming back, uh, his rookie year weight um, <laughs> that we saw there at media day. So, I mean, again, the roster is deeper than a lot of people think. So again, I, there's no reason why they shouldn't make a run if anything this season yes yes and they're coming back uh, healthy so <laughs> yes yes exactly uh another question uh for you uh in nick fans base uh, uh people talking so much about um Kenton grimes versus evan fournier okay so many people talking about this i want your opinion uh, in your opinion, uh, uh, to be a starter, in your opinion, do you prefer Kenton Grimes or Evan Fournier uh, in this team? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, <laughs> I know. I'm like, hmm. Um, you know, I'm going to go with Fournier just because I feel like it's the safer choice, number one. <laughs> and <laughs> number two, we've seen um, – hold on one sec. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that in case Don't you heard it on your end. Um, it's the safer choice, and I think that he's shown us a little bit more uh, in times that it's counted. So I'm going to go with Fournier. But putting them against each other, no, 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 no. We're all we're all good here. We're all gonna you know serve our purpose. <laughs> uh, uh, I ask it to you because uh, I, I, in my opinion, okay, it's my opinion. I prefer Kenton Grimes uh, because uh, your defense, nah? and uh, Fournier, it's, it's very great and three points. It's very great, but um, Kenton Grimes, I, I think uh, with the. Uh, Tom Timbaldon can be more in, uh, great for, from this team compared with uh, Evan Fournier. Uh, Evan Fournier uh, from the bench, in my opinion, it's better. But it's my opinion because... Uh, uh, I don't disagree with you. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> don't worry. And uh, I want your opinion too about... Uh, the younger players in Knicks, what do you think about uh, these these younger players? Uh, you you told you talk now né, about Kenton Grimes, for example. But Emmanuel Kikley, uh, Obi Toppin, Dills McBride, uh, these younger players from the Knicks, what do you think? Do you do you think uh, Tom Timbaldo, uh uh has a chance uh, a more minutes from these guys? 
Who? Wait, what was it? Who has a chance for more minutes? Uh, these younger players, uh, Kenty Grimes. Uh, I thought I. Oh wait, you're muted. And so another uh, younger players. Yeah, I like the young players that the Knicks have, and that's what I think is going to really push them this season. I mean, you know, Miles McBride, Cam Reddish, um, Jericho Sims. I mean. And, and, you know, of course, Obi Toppin, I mean, he's going to come out with some flashy dunks. We saw him in the dunk contest in uh, February in Cleveland, and he won that. Um, and I think it's going to be a good pairing again with Randall and Toppin as well. And Cam Reddish, too. I think that we haven't seen the best of him yet either because, again, he was um, riddled with injury last season. And... Again, I think they need to capitalize on him the most. I think he this is going to be his breakout year, in my opinion. Um, and Grimes, of course, we talked about him before, had a solid rookie season. Um, I think is he dealing with a foot injury, I think I saw. Um, throughout camp, yeah, he has a foot injury. Missed the first two preseason games there. So, again, as long as he continues to be healthy, and of course, you know, I just saw, too, um, R.J. Barrett. Like, I think we forget that he's 22 years old. Like, he, it feels like he's been here for a really long time, but he hasn't. So, like, these this Knicks team has so many miles on, like, to go that it's not even funny. They have one of the youngest teams in the league. So, I there's, there's so much promise for them as long as – the only thing that can hurt them being young is that they're just not, they don't have the reps. They're just not experienced in these late um, situations when you, when you would get to the playoffs and hopefully they do make it. Um, but again, I, who I'm keeping my eye on is Cam Reddish. I expect him to have a breakout season with the Knicks and really, you know, be up there in a conversation of maybe most improved. You never know. Um. And uh, I, 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 I see né, in Nick fans base want so uh, more minutes with uh, Obi Taupin. Yes. Uh, yeah. But but uh, uh, stay the question. Uh, Nick fans want Obi Taupin because like so much Obi Taupin or because Julius Randle don't play well in this team. Okay. Uh, it, it is the question is the question i make for me this question because i i like so much obi topping okay yeah but but uh uh julius randall uh, uh don't play well and obi topping play well uh nick fans like more obi topping of course nah? so uh the, this season this season it's very important tips uh give more minutes uh, from obi topping uh a lot of people uh, were for... saying that last season too yes yes exactly exactly uh so uh, we'll see we'll see uh another player i uh then i won't talk with you and uh, derrick rose derrick rose uh derrick rose uh do you have uh expectations yet yet with this guy or not or uh do you believe uh derrick rose can be just uh, more important uh with your experience uh with uh younger players in this team yeah i'm i mean you know derrick rose i don't know if i say i have expectations for him but i do expect him to play meaningful minutes when it counts um again pending injury but because he was injured for the latter half of last season but he came back to media day said he's feeling the best he's ever felt um and looks the best he's looked in a very long time a lot of people again were saying that he's at his rookie season weight um i'm paraphrasing but again he's more fit we'll say so not that I have severe uh, expectations for him, but he should be playing meaningful minutes and giving them an offensive push that they need. And when he's not on the floor, he needs to be that veteran presence that you see in, you know, Udonis Haslam in Miami, like that kind of mm -hmm. um, presence for them. Because, you know, it, 
New York loves Derrick Rose. I mean, he's just that universal guy that everyone loves. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, you know, a great human being altogether. But as for expectations, I mean, play those meaningful minutes, even if his role ends up being off the bench and coming in at certain times for this squad, seeing as they have such a young core. So I don't expect a decline whatsoever from Derrick Rose. If anything, he should be playing – much better than we've seen him in recent years, especially, you know, coming off that injury, being healthier now and more fit, like we said. Yes, I agree. I agree yeah. with you. I, I just say I love Derek Rose, but I, I really, really understand your point And I, I agree with you. I agree with you about this. And the last question, Jenna, the last question. Uh, What's your uh, what's your expectations with this team, né, with New York Knicks in uh, in next season? Uh, do you believe in playing? Do you believe uh, playing later playoffs? Do you believe playoffs, or do, <laughs> or do you believe in nothing in, in next season? No, no. I mean, listen. The East has gotten only more competitive, and teams are. You know, coming back healthier, they've added guys. Um, but do I think that the Knicks can be in a serious conversation in the playoffs? Yeah, first, second round, we'll see what happens, hopefully. Um, if they, you know, I expect a second round debut, I'm hoping. Um, and again, I expect the scene to be good. The roster's deep. They've added, again, Brunson, who kind of has a little bit of a weight on his shoulders to yes. perform because, again, the Knicks have kind of been not suffering but waiting for a guy, somebody else to come in and help out Barrett and Randall um, and co., of course. But, you know, I expect this team to be a contending team night in and night out. I don't expect them to be a bust. Nothing like, no offense, but like the Sacramento Kings or like those types of caliber teams. Like this is a serious squad that can make a push if they're coached well enough. Um, and I believe in Tibbs and if, you know, pending injury, of course, as well. And seeing how Jalen Brunson gels within this team, which I think should hopefully fit like a glove. I don't see any red flags yet, but also the season hasn't started as well. But we will see. Um Again, you know, I'm expecting like what? I mean, I'm 50 some wins, I hope. Am I being ambitious? But, <laughs> you know, I, I believe in this team. I have a soft spot for the Knicks. I, I like, I like, I like your comments about this. I like. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I hope. Uh, uh, in the beginning, I talk, uh, uh, the Knicks no, is not the worst, is not the best. You're this right. conference, it's very, very hard this conference, this conference. But uh, oh, do you remember uh, Knicks uh, in, in pandemic season uh, has a Alfred Payton point guard. Point guard was Alfred Payton. Mm -hmm. I, hate, I hate, sorry, I hate Alfred Payton. My God, my God, my, my eyes, blood. A lot of Knicks fans this killed. Guy your pain ah. as well ah. just just your mother like alfred peyton in nix just your mother <laughs> <laughs> so oh in pandemic season nix four seed with alfred peyton point guard point so um jalen brunson i i i repeat so many times in this channel uh Jalen Brunson, it's in my opinion, it's not a franchise player. It's not a PG from my dreams. Right. Okay. But it's a good player. It's a solid, solid point guard. And Knicks don't have a solid point guard. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You're right. So... He isn't that franchise player, but he is a difference maker. So hopefully, you know, we're going to see a lot of good out of him. And again, like that word, the word contending is so important for me with the Knicks. They just need to contend and fight night in and night out. You can't be getting blown out here. 
you know, if you're losing, I hope you're not, but they got to be like contending games here. Um, they have enough offense to contend. They have enough defense. So, and these young guys too, again, it all comes down to coaching too, especially with such a young core. So it's going to be an interesting season for them, honestly, and it may be a little bit unpredictable too. I want, I want uh, this team surprise me in the next season. Same. Really, really. I, I, I saw uh, RJ Barrett uh, interview. Talk, Knicks will shock the world. Oh, yes, I saw that. They're going to shock um, the world. I want, I want, I want this. I hope he's right. It's 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 complicated, Jenna. Uh, because in Brazil, for example, uh, in Brazil, uh, the the most popular uh, sport it's soccer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in basketball, uh, grow up so much in Brazil, uh, people like more NBA. Okay, but uh, grow up more. Uh, Golden State Warriors fans, mm. Brooklyn Nets fans. And so, so another teams. So, so many jokes with my team. I hate this. I know. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, you talk in begin this interview about Donovan Mitchell. I, I am so sad about Donovan Mitchell because uh, I believe Donovan Mitchell um, very important in marketing from the Knicks around the world. In Brazil, mm -hmm. for example, so many channels, so many channels uh, talking more about the Knicks, so yeah. much uh, about the Knicks. And the, don't, 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 you, don't come to the Knicks. I I am worried about this. But uh, I, I like if so uh, this team now. I like so many players. I believe in RJ Barrett, Kenton Grimes, Emmanuel Kikley, I like so much Emmanuel Kikley. Okay. Jalen Brunson can be so so important uh with this team. Uh mm -hmm. I I I've, I talk with you in backstage. I am a fan since 92. 92. I have a, a book from Chris Henry. Yes. Okay. okay. And uh a good one. I, I I become Nick fans. Uh, I I saw Patrick Ewing, John Starks, uh, and so great many play many players. I miss I miss Nick's great Gina. I I miss so much. I just want Nick's great great again. I know, I know they deserve it, and it's such a special team with a special legacy and a special place that. I hope that they can get to that status one day with with having a guy, you know, like the guys that you just named, uh, the legends of the game of New yes. York. And, you know, they just keep fighting and they're trying. I mean, listen, they the thing about the Knicks is I've learned to take some baby steps with them. And um, they have not gotten worse this season. They have only gotten better. So we are on the up and up here. We are. Yes, yes. And uh, the expectations uh, don't grow up. I believe uh, it's important for younger players because uh, more pressure, it's complicated. Uh, depression uh, from these guys. Uh, more, uh, I, I, I forgot the, the word now. But in my opinion, it's a it's a good a good a good thing. Uh, the expectation it's not a great expectation, and and exactly. I, I believe I believe this team uh, can be uh, surprise me. I want the surprise. I believe in play in playing. Okay, I believe in playing, but I want playoffs. Knicks in playoffs. New York, Jenna, you you, you stay in the United States. You know. Uh, New York City deserve deserve a great team. Uh, this city uh, likes so much basketball, uh, and uh, I hope, I hope, I just hope uh, Nick surprise me. Um, for me, you and uh, another another people. Same, honestly. There's nothing like New York playoff basketball, especially. Yes. 
when it is the Knicks. And I have to say, I mean, you know, Nets fans might hate me for this, but <laughs> you think of, you know, no, I, again, let's not shy away from the Nets there. They have a lot of great key players, how they will gel together this season. We will see, but a lot of people have them high up to take it all. I will say when it comes to New York basketball, you think of the the Knicks, not maybe because of their track record lately, but just that's <laughs> that's New York's team. You know what I mean? Yes, For some reason, yes. and I just I see it yes. like that. I don't know if it's my old school mentality, but that's just me. I mean, when you think of New York basketball, I think the Garden, the Knicks, that huge platform. And again, Nets fans don't come for me. That's <laughs> my opinion. I, I talk with, uh, for example, with uh, Brooklyn Nets Brazil, uh, this 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 project uh, from my country. But I I, I talk with you with you uh, in the United States and Brazil. I talk Brooklyn Nets. I just said never be, never be. I make the curse <laughs> with this team. Never be, never be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you're funny. <laughs> and uh, um, before I I, fi I finish this interview with you, I just comment uh, with you. I comment uh, with you in backstage, but I will comment uh, in in this interview. Uh, this channel, uh, I I I want make a trip from New York. Uh, I hope see you and your husband in New York. Uh, and uh, Dexter, Chris Williamson, and so many people. I hope uh, meet you and so many, so many people in New York. It's a it's a great dream uh, from this channel, and uh, I hope make it, uh, the, this dream come true and soon. Hey, speak it into existence, manifest it. We believe in you and we would love to see you come to New York and see it and, and embrace it and experience it because it's like no other. So, you know, you um, we will always keep in touch with you, of course. We love the Knicks and Knicks fans all <laughs> over the world. It's so special to be here and talking to you guys. No, thank you so much, Jenna. Thanks so much. Thank uh, you for your time uh thanks so much uh with my jokes in this channel uh, I, I i talk with you in this interview i prefer uh don't be serious all, all the interview i prefer yeah. i i think he interest uh so uh thank you so much it's a great honor great honor for me great honor for brazilians uh bring you in this channel Thank and you. I hope, I really hope you enjoy uh, the uh, your time with us, and uh, I hope see you uh, in the future in this channel yes. again. Yes, until we you know see each other uh, in New York, um, we will stay in touch and continue to talk about all things Knicks. We're almost we're basically a week away from the season so it's an exciting time for you guys and i'm so excited for you guys to have Knicks basketball again <laughs> okay 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 so uh i hope to talk to you with you in the future Same. thank you so much thanks thank so much you. Queria comentar com vocês, né? Nós temos agora uma novidade aqui com relação ao Nick Fans Brasil, que o canal agora pode ter o programa de membros, né, no YouTube. Então eu gostaria de pedir para você, você que puder, se inscreva também, né? Seja membro, seja membro do Nick Fans Brasil. Apenas R$ 7,99 por mês, apenas R$ 7,99. E você vai ter vantagens exclusivas, vantagens exclusivas por ser membro do canal Nick Fans Brasil. Uma delas, você vai ter grupo especial no WhatsApp, que você vai ter as notícias sempre antes, né? Vídeos e etc. sempre ditos antes para os membros. Uh, benefícios que vão ser estudados ao longo do tempo, que vão ser exclusivos para vocês. Além de sorteios, galera. Quem for membro vai ter essa vantagem, galera. Então, bora lá, participa e apoia o canal Nick Fans Brasil, pessoal. Beleza? E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? 
E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! Are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan.